Hi, I'm Scott Willis, National President of the APA, and I stand here on the land of the Palawa people on the east coast of Tasmania called Coles Bay. 2021 has been another tough year, but we continue to meet all the challenges head on. We have remained focused on the issues that matter to you, the member. We have been responsive to change, including COVID and the government policies. Our staff and engaged members are dedicated to giving 100% on your behalf. And we've reached the historic milestone of over 30,000 members. And for the second year running, there is no increase in members fees, even though we are seeing significant rises in professional indemnity insurance premiums. I wanna share a few significant achievements with you. First, advocacy. One of our biggest achievements was the landmark economic value of physiotherapy in Australia report. A very comprehensive analysis of the cost and quality of life benefits of physiotherapy, launched in March this year and presented to key decision makers, including the Federal Minister for Health, Greg Hunt. The APA has continued to contribute to the nation's two key overarching health strategies, the primary health care 10-year plan and the National Preventative Health Strategy. Both of these committees report directly to Minister Hunt and we are very happy with what appears to be friendly to us in physiotherapy. Our new primary health network strategy is already delivering results, with the APA being the only peak body to present to a forum of all PHN CEOs. We're following up on potential joint pilot programs that will drive the APA's policy strategic plan. We rolled out with your physio campaign, informing those living with chronic health conditions about the important role physiotherapy can play in the improving and managing their health journey. This included bringing attention to common women's health conditions and aligning with the National Cancer Awareness Months and focusing on the most common cancers impacting Australians. That is prostate, breast and lung cancers. The COVID-19 Temporary Aged Care Group Therapy Program and the temporary doubling of allied health sessions available under the Chronic Disease Management Plans have been rolled out as a result of strong APA advocacy. But we're also on the heels of the government to really highlight the specifics of the new aged care funding tool earmarked for next year. So in addition to our comprehensive advocacy policy and program, there are a number of member benefits your APA membership offers. Most membership options include one of the best insurance covers at a highly competitive rate. You have access to our world-class professional development suite where you can expand your knowledge through discounted face-to-face -face and online courses and conference events. National Group keep you up to date with what is happening in your field of interest. You receive regular updates through our publications and the e-news. You have access to EPSCO and Pedro research databases. Physiotherapy Research Foundation makes research accessible to develop your clinical knowledge and practice. Boost your presence and referrals through the inclusion in the Find a Physio directory. You benefit from special access to partner servers like member benefits, which could save you thousands off a car, white goods, computers, sporting apparel, magazine subscriptions, and the gift cards. Lastly, I can't not mention COVID-19 and the impacts on everyone's lives during the past 18 months. The APA have expanded significant resources and time into bringing you the member up to date with information in a timely manner to ensure you have the information to make informed business and personal decisions. We will strive to push all levels of governments to recognise that physiotherapy is an essential service which has been backed up by our medical colleagues at the AMA and the RACGP. There have been some outstanding achievements throughout the year, but there's always more to be done. So we need you with all of us in the way of 2022 to continue this vital work for our profession and to improve the health and well-being of all Australians. So take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you all at the Thrive Conference in Brisbane, March next year and the Focus Conference in Perth in October.